Losing a loved one is one of the hardest things someone can go through. The grieving process can last a long time, but from tragedy comes new life. And Ron Rudolph is learning exactly that. He began building birdhouses to honor his late wife. Nearly a thousand later, he has no plans to stop. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrenson takes us to Corcoran, yeah. where a simple project has taken on a life of its own. My wife and I met on a blind date. It was a, a guy that I work with at the lumber yard. Not all blind dates turn into love stories, but Ron and Pat Rudolphs did. For 35 years, they built a home, a family, and a life together. Their love story from the beginning has just been so touching. The way they've handled each other and dealt with situations, it's, it's been inspiring. Inspiring, too, was the way Pat battled through breast cancer in 2004. But 12 years later, cancer came back in the form of a brain tumor. The tumor was in such a place in the, at the base of her brain that uh, it affected her balance so bad. She fought as hard as anyone could, but in January, Ron lost the love of his life. We were lucky enough to be placed in uh, Our Lady of Peace. It's a hospice home in St. Paul. She was there for six weeks, and that's where she passed away. And the days after were the hardest of all. Once family and friends left, Ron couldn't escape the feeling of being alone. But one night, something changed. After the funeral, I was in bed, you know, and I woke up and couldn't go back to sleep, and I started pacing, and I eventually got dressed, and I came out here. To his shop where he began cutting pieces out of wood. I had no idea what I was doing. No idea at all. Not at first. But soon those pieces turned into a bluebird house. A bluebird just happened to be Pat's favorite bird. One house turned into a dozen. A dozen turned into a hundred. Then I kept asking, how can I help you? And when he told me that day, can you help me get some of these birdhouses out of the shop? It gave me a, a tactical thing to do. She put the houses on Facebook Marketplace, and that's when Ron's project really took flight. People started buying them faster than he could build them. We've had people come from Olivia. It's a two-hour drive to buy a birdhouse that you can buy at Menards. <laughs> but it's the story. It's the, the love that he pours into the building of them. From sportsmen's clubs to 4-H clubs to daycares, customers with similar stories of grief became friends. One even had a plaque made for some of the houses. Inside, there's, there's three of them in there. There's proof that it works. <laughs> kind of like the circle of life. What started as a simple project to deal with grief has become a family affair. Four generations of Rudolphs are now helping. Every so often, they get the band together and work. From Ron's 90-year-old dad, Bill, who screws on the rooftops. You gonna bring one in to Grandpa? To Ron's two-year-old grandson, Noah, who helps with deliveries. There we go, all the way through. Grandkids Grace, Ryan, and Matthew are also chipping in. I think she'd be really proud of us. She'd be really happy that we're working together. The family believes Pat is the driving force behind all of this. Ron knows the grieving process isn't over. But if he can share one message with anyone going through a great loss, it's find something to do that makes you happy. Good job. In this case, he's using his hands to heal a broken heart. Everybody's got a talent. And well, what do you do with it? Now, what a shame it would be. There we go. If you didn't use that there talent we go. to help you get through a real sad time in your life. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Yes, I think Pat would be pleased. The birdhouses cost $15 and $25 if you buy one with a mount. Ron and Christy donated $2,600 from the sales so far to Our Lady of Peace. For more information on buying one of Ron's Bluebird houses, just go to our website, wccl.com links.